everybody. It's quarter to one in the morning. My wife's harassing me that she wants popcorn. So I've decided I will go for it and make her some popcorn. So here we go. Get your pot out. I'm just going to use a smaller pot. Maximum heat. I keep my popcorn in the crown jar, one of these old style ones. What I do is I cover the bottom. Like that. Oil. This is a mixture of canola and olive oil. And I cover it just enough. So it should look something more like that. Eventually you're going to get bubbly oil. You'll start to hear it kind of deep frying those, uh, those kernels. I always enjoy watching it without having a lid on it. lid on as soon as she starts to pop. I leave the heat on pretty much full until it stops popping. So you'll hear it go start to slowly pop then it'll go really fast whenever it pops. as it's doing right now, and eventually it's going to start to slow down. When it slows down, you can shut the heat off, move it off the heat. Give, maybe give it, see people shake it. You don't need to shake it until the very end. Give it a little bit of a shake. That'll shake all the kernels back down to the bottom and you lose kernels. You should almost be able to pop all the kernels. And I would say, we pretty much got all that. And pour it in your own. Oh, there's still a little bit of a pop there. These are still popping slowly. And then in my popcorn bowl. And if you notice, pretty much, you didn't see any loose kernels or anything in there. Pretty much got all of them. You can, at this point, you can throw a, a knob of butter, put it right in there. We choose usually not to put butter on it. It's healthier. But we are unhealthy and we use a squirrel of salt. Well, everybody, there you have it. I am going to give my wife this popcorn and go to bed. Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy your popcorn. Hey.